right, good morning, everybody. Um, I don't, <laughs> anyway, running late, big time, woke up 5.30. I, I don't know what's going on. I am not hearing my alarm. It's really getting on my nerves, but then I'm getting in trouble because I'm sleeping through all my alarms, so. It's frustrating. I didn't bother turning the, ro the old road system on. I have a whole new setup here, small rig. I'm gonna have to make a little bit of an adjustment, but just want to give this thing a test. Looks like we have another pretty sky this morning to time lapse. So, didn't want to not go to work without saying good morning. And, uh, so, good morning. Enjoy the ride. So I dreamed up this particular rendition. Basically, you are on the in the old small rig case. Hold on a second, this thing's gonna fire up. Just turn the car off. Two hands. Okay. So you're in the small rig case with the original set of road mounted with the new nice rig and the Joby or the small rig nuts. And you're on the pan plate, so you can just come around. And that shouldn't be too bad of a view. Of course, then I, you probably want to lock it so when you go around a corner, it doesn't swing. It doesn't take a lot to lock that down, honestly. It's kind of like a. <laughs> so, there we are. Let's give it a shot, see what it looks like. You have to uh, pull out the uh, the newer version of the small rig because this one seems pretty sloppy since I pulled that back plate off. I only really used it that much, but it seems like it's a little wiggly. All right, we are on our way. Hopefully, I locked you. Nope, I didn't. That's a pretty good view, pretty good angle. Time lapse, I can't wait to see it because it actually seemed like it might be pretty good. I'm trying to control the air a little bit here. Yeah, it's almost like not sure where my wiggle is. Case feels tight down. I kind of wish I could put the quick release on there though. It might try. I just don't know how I'd get, get away with it right now. Oh, this day is over. It is 100. Oh, car says 102 degrees. Yeah, I don't think the puppies and I are going out in the pavement. Not in this. Nope. Probably cook an egg on the freaking pavement. I know, other places are way hotter than us. This is just for us. This is, you know, since we get... <laughs> it's what I'm used to, okay? So <laughs> in fact, if you guys want to put in the comments what your high for the day was, I mean, 102 is not right. That's the car's been sitting in the sun for all day long. So it's going to be a bit hotter.
down to a balmy 86 degrees. Finally getting these guys out. It's what, 7 o'clock at night? Yep. Sun's still beaming hard. Jeez. It's not very really humid though. It's just hot. We were supposed to get rain, but it never happened. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. I got like five alerts in one shot. And we got nothing. So, must have been small sections of Waynesport we're going to get rain. Wish we would have cooled it off. A little breezy though. Uh, watching the more legacies. We're almost actually done. I think there's like 20 episodes and we're on episode 15. So, another day or so and we'll be done. These poor dogs are going stir crazy. I mean, it's like, he's watching another dog and then he turns up the hill. So, I guess we're going for a full lap. I'm not going to argue with him. We need to get out a little bit. Oh, boy. I come back with Mateo, and Terry looked out the window, and there was a, a bir little bird in the pool flailing around. So she went out to help him, and he's, like, just not moving much. We put him in the, the, the travel cage. She takes uh, Jersey to the vet to get his beak trimmed in. Give him a little bit of food, or give him a little bit of water, and let him sit in there for the night, so maybe... He doesn't feel a little bit better in my morning. But his one leg was really west up, and then he kind of fell over, and he was, like, all twisted. I don't know. I don't know if the orange cat was walking when Mateo and I went around. I don't know if he was maybe attacking him, and he got in there, and that's how he got away, or what. But hide in the water. <laughs> can't imagine one of these stray cats out here would be scared of a pool, though. Oh, it's always something. But get Princess out now for her walk. She's as good as Mateo and does all her business. These guys have been on the patio about as much as they've done today. It's just too damn hot to have these guys out. Every time I come upon that house, that lady's sitting there having a cigarette. I never knew she's there until I'm already recording. Oh well. I gotta get over my uh, insecurity about doing this in public somehow, right? Oh, it would make for better videos. <laughs> Honestly, when I go out shopping, I've said this numerous times, my mission is to get what I went for, get done, and get home. Not stand around videoing everything. But when we're out together, it's a little different story because I'm using as one shot. <laughs> Just his favorite spot to do her boom booms. It looks like she might. Yay! I have officially filmed way too many time lapses already because this phone is down to 16 minutes of ProRes record time. That seems a little drastic considering I know I didn't delete yesterday, but maybe I didn't delete the day before either. I don't think I did. So there's like three days of video on here. Yeah. That's got me quite the space. The other night when I exported the vlog, the vlog itself was 10 gigs. I can't imagine what the input was. And that's compressed Apple um, devices 4K. And it's still pretty decent quality, but. It's not full-out render, which would be like, you know, hundreds of gigs. <laughs> Should be a friend. I'm not really sure what happened, but... This one foot was going a weird way, but now he just seems to be hyperventilating. Muteo, get down. He's not for you, buddy. He's just that bird mine? <laughs> You're curious, aren't you, little dude? Plenty of birds in the house, didn't It's nice. Get down! Get down!